In this Construct 3 tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to scroll a page up and down. So as you can see, there's a few things on the layout already. So we have this blue sprite. The origin point is in this top left corner. The size is 480 by 1500. The text says top. And we've got some text that says bottom. And there's also a touch plugin, which I've already installed. So if we click on the blue sprite and we go on behaviors, add drag and drop where it says axes both, we want to change this to vertical only. And on the text, we need to add the pin behavior. Because what we want to happen is as this blue sprite is moving up and down, we want the text to be moving up and down with it. So let's add the pin behaviour on the bottom as well. Okay, and we can head into the event sheet and we go system, on starter layout, bottom text, into object and we choose the blue sprite and let's repeat the same for the top text okay so if we just have a little look at what this looks like so if we hold the left mouse button you'll notice that we can't move left and right but we can move up and down like so As you can see, there is all this white, white bit over here. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. So if we go blue sprite and compare Y, if it is greater or equal to zero, we need to set the blue sprite, the Y value at zero. So this will fix the top, so let's just show you what that looks like. So as I'm scrolling down like this, you won't see any white. It's set at a maximum over here. But if I'm going this way, I can still see the white over here. So let's fix this bit. And to do that, let's go into the layout because we need to get a few numbers first. So if we click on the blue sprite, you'll note that this Y value is set at 1500. And if we go over here, on where it says new project, you'll see the viewport size and the X value and the Y value. The Y value is set at 854. So we've got 1500 here, the viewport is at 854. Let's open a calculator and go 1500 minus 854. So that equals 646. So keep that number in your head. So blue sprite, compare Y. This time we need to say is less or equal. And we also need to add a minus number and type in 646 and on this side we put the same number in so it's minus 646 it's very important that you include the minus number and the reason why is because when we're dragging this this is actually shooting up over here we're actually going into the minus numbers. So remember this is zero over here and it'll be somewhere right at the top over here when we're looking at the text at the bottom. So let's uh, click on play and just show you that it's all working. So as you can see I'm, I'm trying to drag down and this is set at the maximum so I'm not seeing any white. 
if I go this way like so we can also not see any white over here so this is this is all fixed and working brilliantly okay so let's show you a little project that I've done that's using this scrolling screen just to give you some inspiration so it's an app I've made called run 0 to 5k in 16 weeks and what you're seeing is all of these sprites and the text it's all pinned onto a black sprite over here and when we're going up and down you'll notice that this over here isn't going up and down with it that's because this has not got a pin behavior it's just a normal bit of sprite and normal bit of text you can also put this onto a different layer or you could just make sure that this text over here is just sent to the very top of the layer if you're using the same same layer zero for everything so yep yeah, and you, you can of course if you want to you're not restricted to making it go up and down if you go on here you can also change it so it's horizontal only so you can have it so it scrolls the other way but if you do want it scrolling left to right remember you've got to change it so that these are x values instead of y and yeah that's about all i need to say really hope um hope it helps you out and good luck with your project thank you for watching